Hello and welcome to a video about how you can use Python to visualise an interactive ASLR algorithm. First things first, what is the ASLR algorithm? Here we can see a diagram of a simple path. The red dot is the start node and the green dot is the end node. How the ASLR algorithm works is by finding the shortest path between these two as displayed by the black line. Within this grid we can imagine every node edge is worth a metric unit of 1. So I'll draw a 1 around the adjacent nodes of the start node. So now we know the distance between the adjacent nodes and the start node, as every edge is in this grid is worth 1, as seen by the drawings. We now know that the distance between the start node and the adjacent nodes is 1, so that's our start node score, essentially. Now we need to combine our adjacent node score, i.e. 1, with a heuristic that tells us the distance to the end node. So for example, the diagonally downward node might have a distance from the end node of 7, Combine the 7 with our 1 from the adjacent score and we get an 8. The other adjacent nodes may have values of say 8 and 9 for example giving us overall scores of 8, 9 and 10 because 7, 8 and 9 plus 1 is obviously 8, 9 and 10. So that's our scores overall. Therefore because 8 is the lowest score it will be the next node that the algorithm picks because it's picking the lowest score overall for each node. We then do the same process for the nodes adjacent nodes and repeat until the node we are analysing becomes the end node. So essentially the start node becomes the end node and the algorithm ends. That's essentially what the condition is for ending the formula. So that's how the A start algorithm works. Now let's see a Python implementation that I've coded that shows it actually working and lets the user interact with it. Let's run the program I've created. If you want to pause to read the text there's quite a lot but essentially on the left is the definition of an ASTOR algorithm. The middle section elaborates it in a lot more detail and talks about use cases, etc. Not really relevant for this, but it is what it is. Um, and then the right gives us implementations. Um, so as you can see, the most two most common ones are maze solvers in video games and navigation systems. We now get to pick the size of the screen we want. Uh, this adds an interactive approach, I suppose. We now then also get to enter the coordinates of our start node and end node. For this example, we'll use 10, 10 and 40, 40. So as you can see now, they are display on our screen in pink and purple. I'm now going to draw some obstructions and just add a level of complexity. It's quite strange, but is what it is. I've now pressed enter and the algorithm has found the shortest path without going diagonal. It could be a shorter path obviously if you went diagonal but that's why I coded it so you didn't have to go diagonal. Um, as you can see with this system in particular there's a lot of interactivity. Um, I'll leave the code below if anyone wants to try it out for themselves.